so hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits review and as you can see I'm really really happy um, in the previous review I mentioned that I've been offered a job just been on the phone I've got my dream job and uh, the bloke's brilliant as well really nice person and it's just a case of fucking going for it and I'm well happy um, Life is going to get more interesting uh, straight away, you know. Um, and uh, whew, yeah, can't believe it. Really happy. So today we're reviewing this fella, Saint Fulian, a Brunet Reserve. Um. From the Saint Fulian Brewery, I think. Yeah, got it from Marks and Spencers. It's an 8.5% uh, beer, so that's nice. Yep, I'm crap at pouring. So it's described as this brown ale as a marked ruby brown colour with a generous and lasting head, you don't say. Uh, it has a distinctive aroma reflecting the wide range of ingredients used in its production. The fruitiness resulting from its fermentation blends harmoniously with a dominant licorice and caramel flavour. The body is decidedly malty. The bitterness is the result of a complex alchemy between the fine hops and the special malts used. These give St. Fulian Bruna a typical dark chocolate appearance, this beer creates an endless variety of sensations with a lingering taste and powerful aroma. Wow, all that in a beer. So, yeah. Whew. Am I happy? Yeah, a little bit. Just a little bit. Uh, start at half past nine Monday for like an induction day sort of thing and uh, take up any qualifications and whatever and uh, yay <laughs> and the funny thing is I can't let anybody know officially until I've let the work know. So I think I'll be letting the work know tonight in a message. And uh, and go from there really. So ruby coloured, brownie ruby coloured. It's a funny colour isn't it? A hazy, looks a hazy to me. Um, slightly off white head. Oh yeah, definitely a fruity aroma. And licorice and caramel flavour. Mm. Let's dive in. Chambord says it well. Mm. Yes, both elements shine quite well there. And uh, like most of these Belgian beers, they've all got that similar, Duvel's got that, they've all got a fruity taste to them. And um, complex taste as well. Trying to pick out all the flavours is never easy. And let's be fair, if you can pick out all the flavours, really got the licorice then, right on the back end. Um, if you can pick out all the flavours, then you're a god, you know, and then you deserve to be the best YouTube reviewer ever. Me, I get some of the flavours, but... So... You know sometimes, if I'm being honest, there was a, a, a period of time a few weeks ago when I was staring at the abyss. Um, and over the last four, five, six weeks, I've had moments where I've been so ill and 
it's not this this is uh, a job from God in some ways for me. Why is that running? Solid. Should be solid. Must be some sugar in it still. Um yeah, and uh, to come out the other side happy. Um and I can see the anxiety will start to flow away. And uh yeah. All of a sudden, life gets a little better. And now I've got to let my bosses know this company I'm with now and uh, start that ball rolling. Um, yeah, wow. I don't like the upheaval of moving jobs, I've got to be honest. You know, the way you, where your pay goes from one sort of thing because we was on fortnightly pay then it's now it's gone to monthly pay with this firm and then with the other new firm it's on monthly pay as well and uh, it's all a bit um, you know paying the bills is going to be an interesting factor for the next month but after that um, I mean we're supposed to be going on holiday in October but God knows what's going to happen there So, yeah, I'm gobsmacked, absolutely gobsmacked, happy, gobsmacked, and uh, and now I can do gardening. Um, there's an element of, um, first things first, I've got to get the site straight. So you can imagine, uh, there's been no gardener there for the summer months, they have a an old farmer who comes in with his ride on mower, cuts the grass, leaves it on the surface, and that's no good. You know, got to get the garden looking good. And um, and uh, I've just thought of something. I need to email him. But um, yeah. Wow. <laughs> hey. It's like all of a sudden life's dealt me a, a, a wonderful card. And uh, driving to Newark's going to be a little bit of a ball ache. I've got to be honest, a couple of days, two, three days a week. But hey, oh, you know, in life you've got to take the, sometimes take the rough with the smooth. And the work's great. So, coming back from Newark, if I'm coming back, for, if as long as I get to Newark, for, get there for seven, uh, finish at three or half three, depending on if they say to me, take your dinner break or not. I don't, these are all things I'll need to ask because I'd rather just work the eight hours and have, have a sandwich or some as I'm working. Um, but, um, my creative juices are fucking flowing and. Uh, the ideas, you know, I'm a person who, who, when I left my last job, not this, not the job I'm actually currently still in, but my last job, and I, um, for them, I've grown thousands of plants, and uh, I've got a garden which I can take plants out of, split them, and I can create something amazing within a short space of time. And what what will cost? Not much. So, oh, ah, life, eh? Isn't life great sometimes, eh? And also, not just the garden inside, because um, they want things like f uh, beds making um, and that. And obviously that's very interesting as well because one I can do I can um, make beds out of pallets, um, um, and if they get reclaimed wood, you know, there's lots of stuff you can do. 
especially with farmers around and uh, get a polyton or get growing veg get growing all the veg they want for, to use inside their hotels and uh, it could be one of the most interesting ventures going it's um and uh, for me i have to have plenty of work to keep me going i don't want to get to a place and find out that there's not enough to sustain me because it's funny you can get through a lot of work and um you know, when you're a worker anyway some people make out the workers and the shit but um and when I'm happy in a role, when you are happy in a job, you work harder. You take that work home because you're engrossed in your work. And that's where I'll be. And I've got to say, this is a belter of a beer. So, 8.5%. Not really feeling it at the moment, but loving the taste from it. You get the burst of caramel at the start, the licorice at the end. And then there's the fruity aroma, that typical Belgian style beer aroma. Oh, what a beauty. And you know, I'm starting to believe, and I'm starting to, to um, embrace a positive world, uh, not an abyss, you know, a world where I can be the gardener I am because you know I'm a lifelong gardener I've been uh, growing vegetables at the age of you know, 10 years old and uh, I knew at that time lived two doors away from Nottingham's Arboretum and I used to go on the Arboretum with my dog and uh, you know I always knew I wanted to be a gardener I wanted to be the best of the best and I was lucky because I went to the Arboretum in a time when Nottingham City Council gardeners uh, would be deliberately in bloom. You look now at the, at the gardens and the parks in Nottingham and they are sad. They are a disgrace to where they used to be and uh, you know it's so sad really because this should be so much better. And, uh, yeah, just to get back into that role. I had four years at Streetwise for Rushcliffe Borough Council. And uh, there was some good creativeness to that role. But the end came when um, the managing director was forced out. And I knew, I knew that things would change for the worse. So that's why I left that role. And then, I, I, well, I was wanting to leave. And then I seen the job at Nottingham Park Estate. And I thought, this... And it was made to sound like a fantastic job where I could put my stamp on things. Do it properly. Get get the flower. Put flowers in the park state. Make it be something amazing. Never really transpired. It just used as a lackey. And uh, sadly. And uh, now, you know, um, now I move on again. And uh, so excited. Um, now I can bring out the true gardener and uh, develop and you know I don't even mind spending my own bloody money and helping get the site look good because if it's good for them it's good for me and uh, you know if they win awards for fantastic gardens and other awards from growing their own because it all helps it all helps poor you know for for any company to grow your own it's a great thing and um and and the big side of this you know the unseen side is the side where my family have seen me become a shadow of the person they know see me on a daily basis come home stressed to high heaven uh, quite ill from being at work stressing stressed 
you know, beyond words. And for them to see me go back to the person I am. And the strong person that loves life, you know, doesn't talk negatively. That is the icing on the cake. And uh, my wife, she's had to put up a lot this last year. It, 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 you know, it's not all been work. There's been issues with bloody rats. Bastards. Um, and still having issues with rats. I fucking, oh, I checked yesterday and the rat poison had gone again. So I put fresh poison down. It's not been touched. So that's a good thing. It's always a good thing when the rat poison's not been touched. Because that means they're either dead again or they're not around. Um, but yeah, you know. In life, you don't want to see any of your family or loved ones suffer. And for them to see me suffering, visibly suffering, and uh, it's not a good thing. And, uh, you know, there's been times when I've come home and the first thing I've done is get home from work and I'm on the whiskey. And that's not a good place to be, you know. Beer reviews is one thing. Coming home, drinking, getting pissed up every night is not good. And... Uh, so, me weaning myself off that, just doing beer reviews, and then not really drinking, will be a great thing. And if I'm driving longer distances, then I'll make sure I'm not anyway, because, you know, you can't risk getting caught anyway. And, uh, yeah, I'm looking, for, looking forward to this new uh, positive horizon, you know. Still can't quite believe it at the moment, you know. It's uh, still really fucking nervous. But, um... And emotional. Jesus, I'm emotional. Uh, straight after this phone call, straight after this uh, review, I'm going to email my, um, message my present boss and uh, let him know because I think it's only the right thing to do. Tell him that, you know, as, uh, I understand that I don't have to give anything, but you know, because I'm helping Joe, you know, the bloke who does the sweeping this week, that Friday will be my last day, and uh, it's sad in some ways because the job at the moment, I've actually enjoyed this week in the job, I'm still stressed, can't bloody shake the anxiety, it's not falling off, but helping uh, the lad who does the sweeper driving, and he's a good lad. Yeah, 52 year old, he's older than me, but he's a good bloke. Helping him, making it better for him in the long run, is is, is doing me a world of good because as, as a gardener, I've, my side of things is already perfect. You know, wasn't it? It's perfect, you can get it, you know, there's always issues. But he has suffered for seven months with a flipping sweeper that's not sweeping properly, it's not picking up. So for me to help him, now he's got a new sweeper and it's picking up, and just to help him battle through it, get on an even keel is 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 great for me and great for him and uh, he's a good bloke and uh, you know and I w wish him and uh, my ex-managers do you know all the best really soon to be ex-managers yeah flipping out life life changes doesn't it you know can't believe it Positivity instead of negativity. Yeah. Oh. I could pack up now and fuck off, but um, I'll have to wait. Yeah. Two more days. Two more days. Oh. And I don't have to put up some of the crap that you get. Sad, because there's some people there that I, you know, really like and uh, I will keep on contact with via email. I don't like giving people my phone number. Um, so, I've got to write a, quite, a, quite a message out in a minute. So, I've got to admit that uh, our mate St. Fulian... Oh, Lovely strength, great taste throughout. Caramel, 
licorice, mmm. And you know, some of these Belgian beers, years ago, I once touched them with a barge pole. I remember when my mate from my 40th, nine years ago. Hey. I was at Sainsbury's then as well. Um, but anyway, yeah, um, nine years ago, I tried to do that. I thought, oh, that's fucking rancid. Nasty tasting stuff. And yet nowadays, because of doing beer reviews, my taste buds and my palate has changed that much that it all tastes fantastic. And uh, Hogarden, another one that I really hated. Uh, he bought the same mate, actually, Keith. Good lad. Uh, Stop by me through thick and thin. And that, you know, on your heart, the people who are there for you when you are low and know that you're low, they're the people. Sadly, some of my friends, supposed friends, have fell by the wayside. And uh, sad, really, because we've known them for 20 odd years. But hey oh, you win some, you lose some. Um, but yeah, Hogarden God, there was another one that he bought me a pint in a pub, and I'm like, oh, fucking hell, it's nasty. And I thought, he's bought me a pint, it's just cost him four quid. And I, oh, fucking hell. Two hours later, I'm still drinking this pint. We're all in the pub. Everyone else has had about two more pints, and I'm sitting there sipping, <laughs> trying not to gag. And yet, nowadays, I drink it, it tastes great. So weird, I hate palate is. So anyway, lovely beer, enjoyed it throughout. Um, for me, yeah, decent. 4.5 out of 5. Love the, both the, uh, the taste, the aroma and the strength, yes. A step on Raggy Avenue for a, for a second or two there. And that's it for this beer review. Thanks for listening to my uh, uh, elation. And jubilation, I suppose, and uh, positive reviews coming. And uh, I suppose the best email my uh, soon to be ex bosses. Right, thanks for listening. See you soon. Cheers.